Hey guys. Um, I just kind of wanted to stop in, talk for a little bit, maybe even inspire you. Um, we're getting down to the end of 2019. And for most of us, it's been pretty stressful. Um, some of you watching this might be totally stress-free right now. Um, some of you might be 100% happy with the way your life is currently going. But I know for me, and most people in general, um, we're dealing with stress. We were dealing with financial stress and mental and emotional stress. And we're dealing with a lot of anxiety and depression and health-related uh, stress, uh, certain conditions. Um, some of us are sick with pneumonia. Some of us are sick with the flu. Some of us, our cars just broke down. Some of us are totally broke and can't pay rent. Some of us can't even afford food. Some of us are dealing with so much, and some of us are dealing with, with uh, so little. But I kind of just wanted to say, what did I want to say? 2019 has been rough for most people, including me. Um, and every year around this time, we're always saying, new year, new me. But the thing is, it is going to be a new year. And it might feel like a new you. But the thing is, you have to actually, like, get up and get motivated and actually change certain things in order to become a new you for 2020, for the new year. Um, you can't repeat the same mistakes you made in 2019 or 2018 or 2017 or any year before that. We actually have to put in the effort and the work to become new versions of ourselves for the new year. Um, like I said, we're all dealing with something, and we probably all think that it's unfair that we have to deal with something. Like, it's the holidays, it's the end of the year. I just had a birthday two weeks ago, and I wasn't happy even on my birthday. I was stressed and depressed and anxious and upset. But... I don't, I don't know what the point of this video is. I was just hoping to maybe inspire one or two people. Maybe. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to make like a toast to 2020. Like we actually, like we need to like get shit done. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a to-do list that is a mile long. And I've had it all of 2019. I had a, like, goal list for 2019. And I only, I think I only got, like, one or two things checked off of that list. So, for 2020, I don't, I don't want the first week or two to be new year, new me. I actually want to become a new person for 2020. Like I want to I want to be better. I want to be happier. I want to be more peaceful. I want to be calmer. I don't want to be anxious. I don't want to be upset. I don't want to be depressed. I just I want my life to be calm and peaceful and chill during the year 2020. 
and I'm going to try my absolute best to be at peace for 2020. And I hope all of you can also look back at all the mistakes you've made throughout 2019. And I hope you can for all forgive yourselves for what happened or what you did or what you said. Or I, I hope you can forgive anyone else that may have fucked up your 2019 a little bit. But the moral of this is, um, I hope all of our 2020s are great. And I hope the first week or two isn't great, and then it just goes back to shit. 2019 bullshit. But, um... I don't know. Let's let's actually do something about 2020. Let's actually become new versions of us. Let's actually make a difference in our own personal lives for 2020. Okay, I love you guys.